Shed. My name's Tim. Today we're going to pick up where we left off working on my GPX 750R. I'm going to get the front end pulled apart and then hopefully try and get it all back on the right way. Anyway, come with me, we'll see if we can get it finished. <laughs> so, as I said, this time we're going to try and get the whole front of the bike back together completely. If you didn't get the last episode, uh, towards the end of it I was struggling with getting well, the headlight back in and everything mounted back up as it should be on the front. Uh, I ran into an issue whereby I'm used to, if you need to get to a side of a bike, you pull that side fairing off. The layout on this one is not like that. Um, you actually need to uh, remove tank bolts, and there's a lower there's a lower mounting bolt down there and then you've got two up under the front here oops sorry where are we down here you've got these two down here and then there's ones that you get to up in through there that retain the bracket for the mirrors and then the whole front fairing comes off as one the headlight stays in it as i described last time the headlight bolts in from this this direction so that's the way i'm going to run with it and see if it works absolute complete worst case probably not gonna but hey i've got it there's a manual we'll see i like trying to figure stuff out before i have to resort to a manual uh, i've also got the stickers that way up for the tank so they come in you know there not that you can see them but you will once they're on what else have we got oh that's about it really shouldn't take long Jeez, might not even be worth filming. We'll see. Front fairing off, try and assemble it all as one unit, and then slide it on. So, let's roll. Problems keep coming. This is the indicator that I got from the wreckers, and originally I thought it was actually the other side. And I thought, oh, no worries, that's fine, the universal all the way around. Not quite. So, the universal, as far as they're symmetrical, they're not sort of the ends themselves aren't canted in a direction, but that's a rear one. That's the, the snub off the busted indicator and it's a hell of a lot shorter so while it can appear to go in any spot the fronts have actually got a shorter um, bolt so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this to where that shoulder is there I'll get that off might make it a bit easier to see so I'm going to cut this one down so the same length as that shoulder and then I'm going to drill and cut that one off and I'm going to drill and tap the remainder of this so then I can just come through and put an M6 bolt in and that'll do exactly the same job and I'll still have a right indicator. Alright, there's a little mod there. So that's the indicator in. Drill and tap the stalk like I said and just put a bolt in there. Um, but looking at it, I don't know We've got, that's the plug that comes from the bike, plugs into the back of the uh, headlight, but also branches off and does your indicators and there's your flash can there. I don't know what side's what. So I'm gonna try and slip this front fairing back on the bike now, see if my plan was is gonna work. And then I can figure out the indicators because I still need to rewire and extend those little tackers. Um, or yeah, just extend them, but I've got, I don't have any of these fine little um, bullets, so I'm just going to have to put standard spade terminals on it, but I don't want to go cutting which one until I know, because guarantee 
I'll get it wrong. All right. What do you reckon? Am I as good as I think I am? Definitely not as good as I think I am. But if we put this bad boy on. Steady. 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 That'd be good. Just break it. Joining around. There's big ducks on the ducks. Not wow ain't ducks. Ducts on the side. So we've got to be careful of. We get around. You still don't make it easy for a person, do you? I think, I think, or I think. Alright, that might work. Get some bolts in. Yeah, get some bolts in. Get the indicators wired. Let's see how we go. Here we are as it stands. Uh, it's back together, the front front end. It's a bit of a mission, I'll give you the drum. It's, um, it fits, that's definitely the way it goes, but she used some wiggling and wiggling and jiggling to get it there. So, uh, it's all back on the inside. These, you know, bits are good. And, I mean, not very often you uh, get something like this still left over in factory from the 80s. So well, that's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, the side bolts are in. I've still got some little covers that go in here. Uh, I've got to put them back on. And the belly pan. And I still don't have um, the little rubbers for the windscreen yet. So I've ordered them just off eBay. Hopefully they turn up soon so I can put the windscreen back on. But belly pan has got to go back on next. I did, actually, put the wiring in. For the headlight and where are we? Low beam. Oh, Parkers. Low beam. High beam. Pass light. And the indicator still don't work. And neither does the horn. The indicator I troubleshooted it through and it's just the flasher can's dead. Tried to clean the contacts, didn't fix it, so new flash can. I'll have to see if I can get one of them. Hopefully I can get a genuine one, because they're a, the sort of shape of them. They're pretty specific and they sit in a certain spot, so I'd like to get a, a genuine one and not just a generic one. So, belly pan time. And then the fairings are back on. A little, yeah, a little like a bike again. Check it out. One piece. It's not clean. Needs to go outside and get a wash. Belly pans on. I don't know if that's where the horns are supposed to sit. I'm going to have to check out the uh, manual, but they look really diggy there. They don't work either. Check them with the multi motor, there's power getting to them, but they don't actually make any noise. So, front mud guard is not bolted on yet. I've got to make some little brackets. I think I stated in the last video that's actually off a ZZR600. So, looks good, but uh, well, it'll do until I can get the right one anyway. Uh, yeah, uh, I just put some fuel in it, so we'll squeeze our way around and see how we go. There's an indication of the colour match of the red for you. That's part of the original factory fairing, that is the factory colour, and then that's what I sprayed. So, not at all terrible. Oh no, this might crank over for a little bit, just while it fills the bowl. Uh, see what it does. Or maybe it'll just go straight away.
that's pretty cool. more fuel in the tank. <laughs> there you go. Can't argue with that, can you? Alright, that's so where we're going to leave it this one. I um, just want to do a quick one just to try and get the front end back together. Try and put a bit of time and make it look presentable, back the way it should be. A few things we have to work on. Um, the mudguard, front mudguard, I've got to make some plates, as I said, to um, pick it up properly, get it mounted. The indicators, order a flash cam, put some proper bolts in the windscreen, um, and then, then I can go and get it slipped. Um, the, like, rego, pink slip. Blue slip, actually, because it's been off the road. A couple other things I've got to look at. I still haven't been through the front end and checked all the bolts. And the other thing that really needs addressing is the headstock bearings are way too loose. So, yeah, um, you do always want some preload on your headstock bearings, and these have got essentially none. So, I'd say the front end's just gone back together and hasn't been set up. Other than that, I mean, I'm pretty happy. It's It starts, runs. Uh, I haven't ridden it yet. So. I'll wait until I get wait until I get rego for that because I'll guarantee as soon as I uh, go and take it for a sneaky one around the block, it won't end very well. Anyway, thanks for watching. We're going to end it here for the week. Um, I'll do a bit more on this, and who knows? Next video I might bring you along for a ride. All right, take care.